Intrathoracic pressure regulation, or IPR, is an innovative therapy that leverages the body's own natural physiology to provide perfusion on demand. Studies have shown that IPR therapy impacts the body in two important ways. First, it lowers intracranial pressure, and second, it enhances circulation to the brain in vital organs. Perfusion means that blood is flowing to the tissues to deliver oxygen and nutrients to the cells. This circulation also picks up waste products, such as lactic acid and carbon dioxide, for elimination from the body. All organs of the body require adequate perfusion in order to function properly. Now let's review some basic physiology concepts. The body continually regulates the circulation of blood by using positive and negative pressures inside the thoracic cavity to maintain equilibrium. Let's compare this to how a bellows works. Positive pressure drives fluids and air away, just as squeezing a bellows together creates a positive pressure that forces air out. When a negative pressure or vacuum is created, the opposite occurs and fluids and air are drawn in, just as pulling a bellows apart creates a vacuum that pulls air in. Next, let's talk about how changes in intrathoracic pressure impact pressure in the head. Positive pressure in the chest is transmitted to the head via fluid-filled sinuses that run along the spinal column, increasing intracranial pressure, or ICP, while a negative pressure in the chest lowers ICP. Reducing ICP lowers the resistance to forward blood flow and improves perfusion to the brain. Now let's talk about how intrathoracic pressure impacts circulation. When a healthy person at rest inhales, the diaphragm moves down and the chest wall moves out. This creates a vacuum that draws air and blood into the chest and slightly lowers ICP. As a person exhales, the diaphragm moves up and the chest wall moves in. This creates a positive pressure that forces air out, inhibits blood return to the chest, and slightly raises ICP. When we exert ourselves, metabolic needs change, and the body regulates intrathoracic pressure to meet these increased demands. We breathe harder, faster, and deeper, enhancing the vacuum in the chest that pulls more air into the lungs, more blood back to the heart, and lowers ICP. The net result is improved vital organ blood flow. This compensation also occurs in the setting of shock, as tissue perfusion drops, the body attempts to maintain blood flow by increasing the respiratory and heart rates and by constricting peripheral blood vessels. But if the cause of the shock is not reversed, the body eventually loses its ability to compensate and the blood pressure begins to fall. IPR therapy is used to enhance negative intrathoracic pressure to help the body help itself in states of shock. Studies show that IPR therapy enhances the negative pressure in the chest by providing a slight amount of therapeutic resistance to the influx of air. This enhanced vacuum pulls more blood back to the chest and heart, enhancing preload and cardiac output. It also lowers ICP, making it easier to circulate blood to the brain. Think of IPR therapy as the opposite of CPAP, which delivers positive pressure to patients with congestive heart failure in order to drive fluid out of the lungs and lower blood pressure. There are two types of impedance threshold devices. The Rescue Guard ITD provides perfusion on demand to improve vital organ blood flow in various types of shock, while the Rescue Pod ITD is used to enhance blood flow during CPR. Advanced Circulatory, Perfusion on Demand. For more information, please visit us at advancedcirculatory.com.